Welcome to the future of brain-machine interfaces. Today we're diving deep into one of the most exciting and promising areas of research and development, implantable brain-machine interfaces. One company leading the way in this field is Neuralink, a startup founded by tech entrepreneur Elon Musk, with the goal of enabling people to communicate with computers and other electronic devices using their thoughts. So how does Neuralink's technology work? At its core is a biocompatible polymer thread, thinner than a human hair, that can be implanted into the brain with minimal disruption or damage. These threads can record neural signals from thousands of neurons in the brain, which are then transmitted to an external device for processing and analysis. Neuralink has developed sophisticated signal processing algorithms that can decode these neural signals with high accuracy, enabling the user to control electronic devices using their thoughts. The potential benefits of Neuralink's implantable brain-machine interfaces are enormous. For individuals with disabilities, such as those with spinal cord injuries or neuromuscular disorders, the technology could enable the development of more advanced prosthetics that can be controlled directly by the user's thoughts, providing greater independence and mobility. And for those with neurological disorders like Parkinson's disease, epilepsy, or depression, Neuralink's BMIs could provide new insights into the mechanisms underlying these disorders, paving the way for new treatments and therapies. Elon Musk has played a significant role in the development and advancement of Neuralink's technology. His expertise in engineering and entrepreneurship has helped to position Neuralink as a leader in the field of implantable BMIs, and his investments in research and development have helped to accelerate the pace of progress. Additionally, Musk's ability to attract top talent to the Neuralink team has been instrumental in the development of the company's technology. While Neuralink is a leader in the development of implantable BMIs, there are other companies and research groups working on similar technologies. One of the most notable competitors is Kernel, a company founded by entrepreneur Brian Johnson that is also developing implantable BMIs. Another competitor in the field is BlackRock Microsystems, a company that develops implantable BMIs for research purposes. Other notable competitors include Control Labs and Synchron. The emergence of these competitors highlights the growing interest and investment in the field of implantable BMIs. The future of Neuralink is exciting and full of possibilities. As the technology continues to develop, it is possible that it could lead to new and innovative applications in the field of brain-machine interfaces. For example, it could enable the development of more advanced prosthetics that can be controlled directly by the user's thoughts, or the creation of new forms of communication and interaction that are more intuitive and natural. Additionally, as Neuralink's technology becomes more advanced and widespread, it could potentially lead to new opportunities for research and development in the field of neuroscience and cognitive science. The development of implantable BMIs raises important ethical and societal considerations that must be carefully considered and addressed. One of the main concerns is the potential for these devices to be used to manipulate or control individuals. Additionally, there may be concerns around unequal access to this technology, with only the wealthiest and most privileged individuals having access to the most advanced and effective BMIs. The development of implantable BMIs has the potential to create new opportunities for economic growth and innovation, but it could also lead to increased competition between countries and between big tech companies. As with other emerging technologies, there may be concerns around intellectual property, trade secrets, and national security, which could potentially create tensions between countries and companies. Additionally, as implantable BMIs become more widespread, there may be concerns around unequal access to this technology and the potential for it to exacerbate existing social and economic inequalities. This could potentially create new forms of competition and conflict between countries and companies as they seek to develop and control this technology for their own strategic and economic interests. The development of technologies such as OpenAI and ChatGPT could have important implications for the future of Neuralink and implantable BMIs. These technologies could potentially enable more seamless and intuitive communication between humans and machines, which could in turn drive the development of more advanced and sophisticated implantable BMIs. Additionally, the development of these technologies could help to address some of the ethical and societal concerns associated with implantable BMIs, by enabling more natural and intuitive forms of communication that are not subject to the same potential for manipulation and control. The development of implantable BMIs has the potential to transform the way we interact with computers and other electronic devices, which could have significant implications for the smartphone industry. As the technology becomes more advanced and widespread, it is possible that it could reduce our reliance on traditional input devices, such as keyboards and touchscreens, and enable us to interact with our devices more directly and intuitively. Companies such as Samsung and Apple may need to adapt to this new paradigm, or risk being left behind by competitors who are quick to adopt the new technology. 
Elon Musk's acquisition of Twitter and his plans to innovate it to something similar to WeChat raises interesting questions about how this could potentially intersect with Neuralink's technology. As Neuralink develops more advanced implantable BMIs that enable direct communication between the brain and electronic devices, it is possible that this technology could be used to create new forms of social media and communication platforms that are more intuitive and natural. Additionally, the acquisition of Twitter's data by a company like Neuralink could potentially raise concerns around data privacy and security. That said, the development of implantable brain-machine interfaces is one of the most exciting and promising areas of research and development today. Companies like Neuralink are leading the way in this field, with the potential to revolutionize the way we interact with computers and other electronic devices. However, it is important that the ethical and societal implications of this technology are carefully considered and addressed, to ensure that it is used in a way that is safe, effective, and equitable for all. As this technology continues to develop, it will be exciting to see what new and innovative applications and possibilities it will bring. Thanks for watching. If you found value in this video, please like, comment, and share it with others. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated on our latest content. For those who wish to support us further, consider becoming a patron. Your contributions directly help us create more insightful videos. Check out our Patreon link in the description below. Your support keeps this channel going. Together, we can make knowledge accessible, and thanks for being part of our journey. Until next time.